Welcome into Bengals Breakdown by Chat Sports. I am Tom Downey, and we are taking a look at the Bengals' playoff chances. Despite a very frustrating, painful, and disappointing loss to the Steelers, I'm telling you, there's a chance. Here is the current AFC playoff picture. Two teams have clinched a playoff spot. That is it. Uh, within theory, the Chiefs and Browns likely set to clinch this week, or at least in position to clinch this week. As bad as that loss was against the Steelers, the Bengals are still alive. They need to get going. They need to basically win out. They need some help. And it's doubly frustrating that they had just beaten the Steelers. They would have been in pole position. One time. Beat the Steelers one time. They'd have been sitting at 9-6 and six in fantastic shape and actually having some tiebreakers potentially go in their favor. Instead, things are a little bit more murky. Now, if you want the Bengals to make the playoffs, then like the video right now. You really need to do it because you've got to beat the Chiefs this week and they're going to be an angry Chiefs team. Like that video if you want Cincy in the postseason right now. Now, as things currently sit, the Bengals' playoff picture sits as such. They are sitting with a 19% chance of making the postseason despite the loss to Pittsburgh. They Almost have to win out against the Chiefs and Browns. There are some scenarios in which they win one of those games. It basically requires what you just had happen, which this past weekend, the, the, these odds had dipped down to, you know, 10-ish percent. But the results from the rest of the weekend outside of the Bills game entirely went your way. So the dream is still alive. There is still hope, although hope's a dangerous thing. Hope can drive a man insane. Here are the playoff odds, all per the New York Times Upshot Simulator. Other sites, you know, AWS has some, Next Gen Stat, or through Next Gen Stats has some, ESPN has some, etc. Um, factoring in strength of schedule, who they play, blah, 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 tiebreakers, whatever. Three wild card spots are open, and the AFC South winner. Here are how the, here are how the odds break down. Browns are a basic lock. The Bills are in great shape, winning in, 89%. Jags at 74% because their schedule's easy, but they're not playing good, and they have the advantages in the AFC South. Tiebreakers, Colts at 54% have the Houston tiebreaker right now, plus they play in Week 18, by the way. Texans, 34%, and then it's your Bengals, 19%. Pittsburgh has seen theirs drop a little bit. They're down to 12%. The Raiders have had theirs jump a little bit, 15%. Denver's at 6 I will make note, Denver has benched uh, Russell Wilson for Jarrett Stidham, and those teams, they have to win out to basically have a chance of getting in. So will the Bengals make the playoffs? Of course, there are scenarios in which there are sub-100 teams that make it, but that's probably asking a bit too much there. Will the Bengals make the playoffs? Y for yes, N for no. Sound off for me in the comment section right now. It's the pinned comment on today's video. The ad comes here on YouTube. Take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. Here's how the Bengals playoff odds currently stack up. Overall, 81% chance to miss the playoffs. Far more likely. Again, that factors in the spreads of the Chiefs game and Browns games. You run like a million simulations and see how many of those you win, blah, blah, blah. 6% chance at the 6th seed, which is win out scenario and get a lot of help. 13% chance at the 7th seed. In total, 19% chance of making the postseason this year. What matters here in the end is the multi-team wildcard tiebreakers. Now, what the, the uh, NFL first does is do division tiebreakers. And that's why that Pittsburgh Steelers loss matters so much. You got swept by them. You are automatically eliminated from the division tiebreakers. And then they'll do the rest of the team. So it comes down to, at that point, the top AFC South team, the top AFC uh, North team in these tiebreaker scenarios. That's why they're out so quickly. Head-to-head -head sweep if it's everybody involved. So in a scenario in which Indy, Bills, and Bengals are all tied for a wild card spot, Bengals actually would get it because they have the head-to-head -head sweep. If it's Houston, Buffalo, and Cincinnati, they would not get that head-to-head -head sweep tiebreaker because they did not beat Houston straight up. Then it comes down to conference win percentage. And by that point, most of your tiebreakers would be solved because the Bengals aren't going to win the conference win percentage tiebreaker in general. They won't win most in general. There are some head-to-heads they have. You know, Indy and Buffalo don't have it against Houston, have it against Jacksonville. They are 3-7 and seven in conference play. 
So if it comes down to that conference win percentage, it just doesn't work. They, they, they don't have the tiebreakers there. That's why you're actually okay cheering for Indy over Houston because you would win that tiebreaker head-to-head wise. More on this to come, scenarios, etc. But today's show is made possible by Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. It's simple, easy, and fun to play. It's daily fantasy, made simple, made more fun. You pick two to six player stat projections, more than, less than, and that's it. You don't have to battle thousands of other people. Just you against the numbers. Here are my picks of the week. I, lo- I love the flex play. Nine of my last 12 flex plays have hit. Dak Prescott, more than passing yards because the, the Lions secondary is not very good. Cooper Cup, more than receiving yards. Jonathan Taylor, less than a rushing yards against one of the best defenses the past month in football. Seriously, competition matters uh, in the Raiders. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Link will be in the comment section and the description of today's show. Again, that's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. All right, the Bengals' remaining schedule. You're facing two playoff teams, or at least teams that should be playoff teams. There's scenarios in which they don't get in, but... The Raiders are going to win the division, so it's fine. The Chiefs are going to win the division, excuse me, barring a historic collapse. And same with the Browns. Regardless of how they play against you, those teams should be in. On the road against KC, home against the Browns. Here are the Bengals' playoff odds uh, based on what happens. Independent of other results going on, just if it, who knows what happens, that of course will determine stuff. Went out, 94% chance. Only beat the Chiefs, 19%. Only beat the Browns, 17, lose out, you are eliminated. There is a path that exists for the Bengals if they only beat KC or they only beat the Browns. It does require a tremendous amount of help. And it's the amount of help that probably isn't going to happen. Realistically, it's why those playoff odds are so low. But I've seen crazy things in the past in the NFL. In the end... The loss to Pittsburgh took away your control of your own destiny. Now you have to pull some upsets because your dog's against the Chiefs this week and you might be against the Browns. We'll get to that in a little bit here, by the way, and get some help. What is your confidence level in the Bengals making the playoffs? Scale it for me from 1 to 10. 1 on the low end, 10 on the high end. Now look, this Chiefs team is not the Chiefs team we've seen the, the, the past few years. Frankly, Their offense is kind of mediocre right now. Uh, The issue is the things that they have not done well, you know, run the football, hit explosive plays, are the things the Bengals' defense allowed all year long. They are seven-point favorites, the Chiefs are, at home, lower over under set, 44-and-a-half. The reality is, which you should have done last week and you didn't, I guess, do a, a well enough job, you should view this as an elimination game. You make, you win this game. Your playoff odds, independent of other results, so it will change based on what happens as the games go along. We'll update you guys for our live watch party for it. 53% chance with a win. A loss, and you are down to 7% chance. In fact, there is a scenario that does exist that you lose to Kansas City, and whether moments before or moments after, you are eliminated from the playoff race. This is the Bengals' Week 17 elimination scenario. Bengals lose. Steelers kicking off 20 minutes before you beat the Seattle Seahawks, and the Buffalo Bills take down the New England Patriots. I don't think Pittsburgh's going to beat Seattle. I could be wrong on that front, but I think the Bills are going to beat the Patriots. So you are precariously in position to be eliminated this week. You have to win, though. Now, what also matters here is this, because that's your magic number. They can't win out. You will not win tiebreakers, period, if Pittsburgh has the same record as you, because you lose the head-to-head, you lose the divisional standings, you get bumped out too quickly. It's just not in position. So you need Pittsburgh to lose, because you did not take care of business. Now, we just passed 6K subscribers. Thank you all so much. We will be live for the Bengals-Chiefs game. Uh, Fox is or, or, yeah, Fox a bit disappointed by the outcome. Or no, CBS a bit disappointed by the outcome because they thought this was going to be a, a premium game. Burrow-Mahomes, 
you know, AFC uh, number one seed in line, and yeah, not quite there. Uh, we'll still be in plenty of households, though, but we got you covered for a fun watch party. Hit that sub button, youtube.com slash Bengals TV. All right, let's break down your rooting guide for week 17. Bear with me. There's a lot going on here. First off, we've done these videos for a long time. Outside of like week 18, I think a 15% differential in your playoff odds for a different game is the highest I've seen. Now, that's, that's where we sit right now. Seahawks over Steelers versus Pittsburgh winning and Seattle winning. There's a 15% difference in your playoff chances. That is massive. Go Hawks. Patriots over Bills. That makes sense. You're trying to get the Bills hurting their playoff chances. Again, you have hat tiebreakers over them. You are cheering for Chargers over Broncos. That is a 6% difference because Denver can cause some weird tiebreaker stuff with you. Technically, it is Colts over Raiders. I was a bit surprised that number is 6%. It, it will be influenced more so next week that that's the bigger impact between Colts and Houston with some influence what happens this week. Panthers over Jags because you win tiebreakers over Jacksonville, but it, it's a lower number because Carolina is kind of a big underdog in that game. Titans over Texans, 3% there. And I am going to include Browns over Jets and Ravens over Dolphins. Now, from a statistical perspective, it does not influence your current playoff chances. However, I will go beyond the math here, beyond the analytics, and say this. If the Browns beat the Jets, they are locked into at least the five seed. And if the Ravens beat the Dolphins, the Ravens clinch the AFC North, which would mean the Browns have nothing to play for in the final week of the NFL regular season. Now, there is a downside to this scenario as well. It would also mean that the uh, Steelers are playing a Ravens team with nothing to play for in the final week of the regular season. But I took the Browns having nothing to play for you as the bigger priority, especially if the Seahawks beat the Steelers. Then as long as you beat Kansas City, you're back in position to kind of control your own destiny all of a sudden, at least to a certain extent. There's still probably need one more good outcome in your favor, but that's out of like six games. So this is what you need, but it starts with beating Kansas City.